Hello everyone, today I'll be sharing another video tutorial for QNAP Smart Networking products. On today's video, I will share how to set up a QBell server with a QHORA and a QBell client with a Windows 10 and an iOS phone. Some of you may be wondering what is QBell. QBell VPN is a QNAP proprietary communications protocol. It incorporates DTLS and AS-256 encryption. Let me share with you the benefits of using a QBelt. First, it has secured encryption. With AS-256 VPN encryption, it can protect your data communication security. Second, it is an easy setup. By just installing QVPN on either a laptop or mobile phones, you can easily set up QBelt anywhere. Third, it can interconnect QNAP devices. We have supported QBelt on our QHORA, QMIRO, QGD Guardian series, and NAS devices. So basically, you can create a VPN connection if you are using all of these QNAP devices at home or at the office. For the topology, in this example, you already have an existing Q1 network in the HQ and branch office connection. Outside of office, for work from home employees, if you don't have a hardware network device to set up your VPN, you can still use your PC or mobile phone to connect. By just installing QVPN tool from QNAP website, you can set up your QBelt. Today, I'll show you how to connect a QBelt with a Windows 10 laptop and an iOS phone. For the setup process, it is quite easy. There are only three steps. First step, establish a WAN connection on QHORA, PC, and mobile phones. Step two, on the server side, we need to enable QVPN, QBell server, and to create a client list. Step three, on the client side, we need to install QVPN on PC and iOS phone and create a QVPN client connection. For our QHORA, QBell server settings, we need to go to the GUI and then set up our WAN connection. We need to go to the network, port definition, action and set our WAN connection. I need a PPPoE to get a public address. So I set up a PPPoE connection. Once I'm done, I go to the dashboard and check if I got an IP address. Now I got a public IP address. It means that my uh, QBelt server has a WAN connection. Now I need to go to the QVPN server and then client list. I need to add to QVPN uh, go into the ad and then set up a username and password, then you can create a client list. Then you need to go to the QVPN settings. You need to go to the action and then set up your pre-shared key and then apply and then enable the QBelt. Then this is the QBelt server settings. For the QVPN uh, client settings on the Windows 10, we need to open our QVPN tool. Then we need to add manually by clicking this, like this. Then you set up your profile name, add your username and password that you created in the QHORA client list. And then this host or IP is the public IP of the QHORA. And then you select the QBell. Once you press save, it uh, the pre-shared key and VPN port will show up. Then set up your pre-shared key and the VPN port. And then press save. Once you're done, you, connect, you press the connect button. Once it is connected, it will show up in the QVPN client list that the status is enabled and that your QVPN tool is connected and you have a time connected. Then we can verify with Bing. I have a client that is connected on the QHORA. If we can ping that client, it means that we are connected and we can ping to the LAN side of the QHORA. Yes, we can ping. So this uh, Windows 10 is connected successfully with the QBelt uh, VPN with the QHORA. For the QVPN QBuild client connection on the iOS phone, 
we will do the same steps as we did on the Windows 10 PC earlier. We will first install the QVPN tool. Then once we install, we will add a profile. This is the profile that I added earlier. I set up a profile name called Test QBuilt. The IP is the public IP address of the QBuilt uh, server on the Qhora. And then the VPN type is the QBuilt. Preserve key and password are the one that we set up on the Qhora. Username and the password are the client list that we added on the Qhora. Once we're done, we press connect. And then we wait for the connection. Once the VPN is connected successfully, we can verify with ping. We can ping to the LAN client on the Qhora. If we can ping successfully, it means our VPN connection is successful. Okay, now we can verify that the VPN connection is successful. We are now done with the settings. If you guys have only one Qhora, you can set it up as a QBelt server and try to connect your PC or mobile phones as a QBelt client. This will help to keep your data communications more securely. Since we are at the end of our video tutorials, if you guys want to know more about other video tutorials, please let us know. Thank you for listening. Take care and keep safe.